Hello, my name is Scott Ripito. I'm the lead mentor for FIRST Robotics Team 1477 Texas Torque. And this morning I'm going to show you how to assemble one of the robot shields from Vex Robotics. So I've already removed the protective plastic and I have to line up these holes in the shield with these holes in the headband. And one of the, one of the things you have to look at here is there's six holes here and there's eight holes here. And that's so you have some choice about uh, how close or how far away the mask is, sorry, the face shield is from your face. So first, because I've done this before, I'm gonna place this in the middle position of the hole. So that means these six inner holes are gonna line up with these six holes here. And I'll feed that through from the front. And if you do this just right, you can slide this through, hit the zip tie. There we go. And pull that through. There we go. And now I'll do the next one. Oops, wrong hole. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. The problem on the other side is now it's bent, and so it gets a little bit harder to line this up and hold it at the same time. So what I did was I lined the holes up and then I'm pinching it on the inside that makes it a little bit easier to do this, especially if I get the first one finished. So now I'll feed this in. And bend that over. This first one's the one that always gives me a little bit more of a challenge. There we go. Now the second one should be easy. Make sure these are lined up. You know, I noticed that uh, all these zip ties are black. I mean, they're all black. All right, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to put on the top part of the shield. Uh, you can actually leave this part off if uh, you don't want the top protection. Um, might help with fogging, but uh, I haven't had any problem with it. I call this part the boomerang because of its shape. I haven't tried throwing one yet. I'd save that for the, when I run into the guy that designed this. Okay, beating that through. All right, now I'll tighten these up. And you can kind of see there how the zip ties went through. All right, now you could leave it like this. Nothing says social distancing like zip ties sticking out from your face shield. But I'm going to trim them so it looks a little, you know, a little nicer. Let's see here. You know, 
to see some incredible 3D effects. Pew. By the way, it's May the 4th. Pew. Ooh, that was great. Oh, man. All right. Okay, there we are. So that's ready to wear. Now they come with this blue rubber band. My guess is that you can't find a rubber band like this in black. And I'm gonna put it in the holes right on the end because I know that with my big old head that that's what works the best for me. Now I'll pull that on and it's kind of loose, but my glasses, they do, they hit the face shield, which it could be a little bit of a problem, but they actually hold it really well. So this combination works, works out for me. It's really comfortable. If I don't want them to hit my glasses, if I don't want the face shield to hit my glasses, I can move it up just a little bit and move the rubber band down a little. And now, not quite hitting. There it is. Okay. But, you know, there's more space here. Uh, works for me. I actually like having your band up just a little bit. Now, one thing I tried, and it seemed to help just a little, is, is I took off this zip tie and I just moved it over here. And that spread the shield out just a little bit and changed the shape. Uh, and it didn't seem to hit my glasses so bad. So something to try is uh, moving the zip ties around just a little bit. You could try the other two positions. Uh, the problem with the one where it's farther out is it's pinching it in, so these edges come in. And then the other one, it flattens it out a little bit. So I couldn't get one of those positions to work well with my glasses. Now mine are extra wide, so. Uh, but I do like in the middle position with these frames that it fits pretty well. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to my team's website, texastorque.org, and my email's on there, mrrip at texastorque.org, mr.rip at texastorque.org. And uh, send me a message, and we'll see what we can do about making improvements. Thank you.